people are gonna be upset about my answers, but just know. Uh, I got an offer for 35,000 today. Valued around like 50K. I'm too broke to be spending that hey, much. Up? Wait, are these oh. real? <sighs> Time to bid farewell to this warehouse. If you guys have been watching the videos, you guys know I am traveling from state to state and thrifting and seeing just kind of what I find in different areas. I've successfully traveled to 13 of the states. Now for the weekend, I have to fly back home to Washington state. And the reason for that is because this weekend is sneaker con Seattle. I used to make a ton of videos at every single sneaker con event and seeing one in my home region means a lot. I gotta go show some love. Now in this video, we have a plethora of things going on. I got a little giveaway to tell you guys about, which I'm gonna talk about in a moment. But of course, before we discuss the giveaway, uh, I want to talk about Plus One. As you guys know, if you watch the series, I buy and resell clothes, sneakers. I've been doing that for years. Before I was making money from YouTube, that is how I made my living. Which is why, two years ago, I started a group called Plus One. We have a ton of information in there to help you get into reselling. We have all the sneaker and streetwear release information. Along with resell information, we have restock monitors to notify you when particular sneakers restock. We have ACO providers so they can actually run slots for you using their bots and increase your odds of Copying. That way, if you're not able to go for a particular release, you can have an ACO provider go, or you can increase your odds by actually going manually and having an ACO provider run a separate piece of information for you at the same damn time. We have a lot of information about streetwear that other groups do not really focus on because they are so hyper-focused on sneakers. For example, a lot of groups did not talk about the FTP release, but of course in Plus One we did. There were a ton of pieces from FTP that resale, but a lot of other groups just don't focus on those more like low-key streetwear brands. And the other factor is Plus One is $9.99 to enter, so if you are not in a cook group, it is a great place to start. And I started Plus One because I wanted to have an affordable option. A lot of the other cook groups charge 40, 50, or even $60 a month. Like I said, we are $9.99. And now we've officially been around for over two years. So to everyone that isn't Plus One, I do wanna do a little two year giveaway, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I do have a giveaway that literally any person watching this right now can enter. The shoes that you have a chance of winning will range between $3,000 and $50,000. It is completely free to enter. In the description down below, I'm gonna leave two links. Of course, there's gonna be a link to plus one. Since there's a little giveaway going on, the first link is actually gonna be a link to Whatnot. As you guys know, I'm an active user on Whatnot. I sell on there regularly on my account, Thriftro, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. On Wednesday, March 1st at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time based off where I am right now, there will be a live stream with Lil Yachty on the Rolling Loud Whatnot. All you have to do is tune in and hit enter giveaway. Now Lil Yachty's actually gonna pick the shoe himself. He's going to hand the shoe to the winner during Rolling Loud after his performance. Some of the options include undefeated Jordan Force, Nike Air Max, Jordan Carhartt m and Force, 2009 Kanye West Louis Vuitton Jaspers, Kanye West College Dropout Babestas, or 2014 Jordan 1 Fragments. Every single shoe is a banger and it is completely free to enter. Like I said, all you have to do is click that top link, download whatnot if you have not already downloaded it. If you already have it downloaded, then all you have to do is go follow Rolling Loud, bookmark the stream, and tune into the live. And once they go live, you literally just hit enter giveaway. And if you guys are there in the live stream, you'll see me there because I will definitely be in the live stream also trying to win a pair of these shoes. Anyways, I got a bit farewell to my little uh, stack of product here at Harrison's Warehouse and uh, go back to Washington. My other baby. What up? Uh, I'll drive. I missed my car. Hi, honey. How are you? I'm good. Set them high in the stars, leave his bro when the stars run the vent, foreign cars, out of the mall with the beans, with the game on the dust, look, home the soda tank. First time driving the new Subi in the snow, baby! As you guys know, I'm back in Washington for a couple days. This is a video of the roads after I drop my mom off. Wait, hold on, what? Man, come on, seatbelt, don't cover up the Arcteryx, your boy trying to flex. Anyways, <coughs> currently I'm headed to the Goodwill bins. This looks like this could be a little slip and slide. This is like a Mario Kart banana pill. Anyways, at the Goodwill outlet. You brought the stuff? All right, you wanna go do it? 
I saw him post this piece on his store and I bought this little old Levi's joint. Levi's 501. All right, got some stuff. The last thing I need to be doing is buying clothes, but you know, we always going full buyer style. Shout out my guy, Crazy Ben. Crazy buyer style. $350 spent, but I got some good items to post on whatnot. All these are gonna be live on whatnot. You already know what time it is. Please go follow me on there. I need to make my money back ASAP. Thrifro, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. And here we have the aftermath of last night's whatnot live. These are all of the orders except for these three items right here. This one I sold last night online. It's listed for like 150 bucks, but like I said in the last video, the people decide the price, so it sold for, I think, 70? 70, nigga? Oh, why? Eventually, I do want to get this tee in a size large. I love that tee, and I am kind of sad to see that one go for 70 bucks, but it is what it is. This REO Speedwagon 1988, I actually gave this away. This was a little last minute addition because I bought this for myself, but it doesn't fit. It's a little bit small. 90s champion Sonics. I think it went for 40 bucks. So, uh... Not too bad. All right, I asked you guys on Instagram what shoes I should be wearing to sneaker con today. It was between the Jade SB Dunks or the Ama Manier Jordan 1s. You boys gotta take these packages to the post office. I also gotta clean, but I do not have time, so that will be done later before I go back to Atlanta. Anyways, it's time to go to the greatest sneaker event in the world, sneaker con. JC's booth, Urban Necessities. You guys see it? I'm storing the vintage buyout here. My guy pulled up. If I do 20 on this. The Giants one? This one, this one, this one. I got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Would you do 140? That's like no. What was reselling these? 130. 130? Would you do 150 then? Yeah. Me in the middle? Okay, 150. All right, it's kind of packed, but I got one of the sneakers that I wanted. I'm now looking for two other sneakers. I'm looking for a pair of Stussy Blazers. Good. Yo. Why did SneakerCon copy your lights? He was gonna bring me a pair of pants today. He didn't bring them. Nick is asking you 20 push-ups. Look at my boy Bryson posted on his page just to remind me that he didn't bring them, man. Those are the ones to the shop tomorrow. You don't bring them, I'm fired. You're fired. My guy over here looking like the biggest dope boy. High off life, baby. High off life. How you liking the SneakerCon event? It's crazy. The turnout is ridiculous, bro. Like, it's rare that you get to see Seattle come out to, to uh, enjoy something together like this. We definitely got to have a more often. I think there's like 12,000 attendees this year. Yeah, which is crazy. crazy. Shout out my guy. You can see him with like 700 pairs of your favorite sneaker. I'm to sell them, <laughs> Formerly known. <laughs> the Mecca. First of all, we got Nick Star. Nah, I ain't nobody, man. I ain't nobody, man. Look at the outfit. I ain't nobody. He's always walking around like this. But he's a millionaire, so you don't want to. Nah, 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 nah. So I'm broke. My guy Big A gave me exclusive permission to park outside of his crib when I go to Orlando. Park in front of my house. You can stay with me for the night. Hey. And then the next day we're going to go to dinner. And we're going to do it big. And then you can keep it moving. Yes, sir. Dinner. It's good. What up? I just did an interview with my guy. People gonna be upset about my answers, but just know. <laughs> Alright, I'm not a big Jordan 4 guy, alright? Hey, why would you like? Why would you like? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my guy though, <laughs> DJ, DNA Show. I gotta ask you an important question. Is Seattle gonna get another sneaker con? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, I love to see it, man. We're gonna trap outside the house as soon as they go on vacay. I've been in the same Nike tech for seven days straight, but I touched 10 on every occasion except the last day. 
Quick, quick input. What do you do? I just want to say absolute legend. I'm from Tacoma, Washington, so just being a local, you know, I just had to come say what's up. I know you're an influencer. What you do? I make YouTube videos going to like thrift stores, uh, finding like old clothes, and then sneakers. How many followers you got? Uh, 300K on YouTube, about 200K on Instagram. Nice. I got my popcorn coming out. I want you to fuck with it. Oh, for it. sure. See you, some boxing. you see Gary Payton today? I did. We took a photo with him. Yeah, that's tight. Did you too? Yes, sir. Yeah. Local legend, even though he's from the Bay, but still local legend. So. And he said that he thinks the Sonic's coming back within two years. I hope. I got some fire ass old Sonic shit. I don't know if you know, they played in Tacoma for one season. I didn't know that. They were called the Tacoma Suits oh, for the one season and they made merch Tacoma Suits. Yeah. And it's, instead of the skyline of Seattle, it's got the Tacoma skyline. Damn. So it's kind of like being from Tacoma, that. that's special. Sorry about information, all that. And then you put your mind into yeah. this. I want to have a clothing brand when I was like, what? Seventh grade. I was designing stuff on Snapchat. I didn't have money. I never came for money or anything like that. My first paycheck, I remember the day. I was working at KFC, first paycheck, five hundred dollars. Put it into the brand. Ever since then, just kept going, kept going, kept going. And then I was working at a casino, and my boss told me like I was drawn, and he's like, "Bro, that shit don't matter." I'm like, I quit that day. Literally quit that day. I walked out, and I've never had a hand fight. You put it into something creative, and like, thank you. Coming from you guys, it's so amazing. Find me at Royal Search or www.royalsearch.shop. My Instagram. You got a personal photographer? This shit going on crazy. Yeah, I know, I know. You traveling the world! I've been looking for new shoes for the past three years. Size 12 and a half. Look at the condition. Very new DS. For new, they go for like 800. 265. Fire kick. Girl's favorite. 265. Hello. The king finesse. Hello. Hey, is this real? My guy. Uh, on your throne. Uh, I don't know about all that. It's a folding chair. Hey, man. Yeah, but you it know what I'm saying? The works. throne is what you make it. What's going on, man? It's been like a, a whole hundred years since the last time I saw you. How do you like Seattle? Massively impressed by the fact that how many people showed out. Sneakers in here was like insane. It was probably one of the most concentrated like holy shit pairs. There was only 160 vendors here and it seemed like at least 20 of these guys had shit that I like was like what the fuck is this here? I had a lot of fun. I had a hard time getting sushi out here. <laughs> oh, man, but it's great seeing you bro. I missed the hell out of you and it's been dope to see like your progression. It's really dope to see man. And Appreciate that. You, bro. It's cool to see you also come back into this. I know this is your backyard and it was an easy move for you, but uh, it, it was great seeing you, man. Yeah, nice to see you too, man. Yo, Justin, I just heard that your back shits on his. That's what he said. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just congratulating yeah, yeah, yeah. him. He said Justin's back shits on mine. All right. Oh, you didn't have word to say for that. word, that, he said that. That bag that. is cute, dude. Hey, I did say <laughs> He that. said, that bag is cute. That's not this. It's cool. It's cute. He said, that's a, a cute, cute that's adorable. That's how we be talking. Like, and, and just to make it official, he got it from me. So hey, yeah, I mean, the legend. The legend. <laughs> he made my Louis V. Oh, gun holster. Wait, wait. I've been rocking with that's Jacob for yeah. Uh, yeah. Now I need yeah. to make me an uh, unnamed gun holster <laughs> that will not be in the video. No. But <laughs> okay. We'll just say it, it goes hard. It yeah. goes hard. It goes <laughs> hard. It goes I'm going to get a goes hard bag. Goes hard bag. Oh, you feel yeah. me? Oh, like the bag hey, goes hard. <laughs> All right, last stop of the day. My guy didn't even tell me he had a booth. Uh, let's start with a good one. Holy, that's crazy. <laughs> so hard. Threes and the eights. That's so sick. Uh, I got an offer for thirty-five thousand a bit. Tell the person who made thirty-five thousand. Tell them thirty-eight thousand. It's only three bands. Like, come on, three thousand even for the number. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Man, I'm so mad because earlier I was asked about my favorite four colorway and I couldn't really think of it because I don't really like fours like that. You gotta get two. But wait, there's more. I feel like I watched you guys go from one off-white sample to like my net worth in sneakers. About. Man, y'all killing it. That's crazy. Damn. On four fours. Yeah. Valued around like 50k. I'm too broke to be spending that much these are crazy though with right. the black toe right. these are fire yeah let me know when you get 38 for these uh -huh. and then i'm gonna need my 10 percent commission for the idea you know you want to know where i got it kent goodwill bins kent goodwill bins kent goodwill baby bins. go to kent you can find all the pe's that you ever want <laughs> This might be the first time I've done a sneaker con cash out video where the majority of the stuff that I bought was not even sneakers. As you guys know, if you've been watching the channel for years, I kind of like everything. I like 
streetwear. In fact, I started off doing low-key brands, then I started doing trips to the thrift. Then I started doing Supreme content, and then I went back to doing trips to the thrift. That's always kind of the content that I enjoyed making, but at the time where I was doing a lot of Supreme content, I was going to a lot of sneaker cons, and really throughout the entire time that I've been doing YouTube, I have kind of sprinkled in some sneaker content. Now the reason I haven't really been making as much sneaker related content lately is because I've been traveling and it's just been kind of hard to focus on getting releases. But you guys know I literally run a resale group that primarily focuses on sneakers. We also focus on reselling streetwear and a lot of people in there resell vintage, which is why I wanna do some guides for that in there as well. Of course, the group is a plus one. If you guys have not already joined, I will leave a link in the description down below. That will be the second link in the description. And one thing that I love about what we have going on at plus one is it kind of covers all of those bases. One thing that we actually do that not a lot of other groups have, even your high tier groups, is we have information about streetwear brands like FTP, for example. They just had a release, and if you missed that, there were a ton of items that you could resell. One thing I hate doing on here, and I hate when other YouTubers do it, is when people give like false expectations. I'm not gonna sit here and try to sell you some pipe dream, like, oh, if you start reselling sneakers, you're gonna be a millionaire tomorrow. Like, no, it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of time, but I know a lot of people in there that are full-time resellers because because of plus one. Normally when I talk about plus one, it is the first link in the description, but of course, in this particular instance, I made it the second link in the description because there is no reason that every single person watching this video is not currently perusing that description because the top link is a link to a free giveaway. You don't have to pay anything, you don't have to do anything. There's absolutely no requirement for you to enter to win one of these sneakers right here that range between 3,000 and $50,000. As you guys know, Whatnot is a sponsor of this channel and they reached out to me to let me know that they had this giveaway going on. It is something that I felt like you guys would be interested in hearing because I know I will definitely be there trying to win one of these shoes. Like I said earlier in the video, all you gotta do is click that top link in the description, download the app, and then tune into the live stream. The live stream date and time is right here. It is Wednesday, March 1st at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I imagine there will probably be a bunch of people in that stream because if you are aware that it's going on and you have the chance to win basically free money, why would you not just download the app and join the live stream? All you have to do is literally be in the stream and click enter giveaway on the screen and it will pop up and pick the giveaway winner at random on the screen for everyone to see. But if you are there and you happen to see your boy in chat, cause I will definitely be there, say what's up. As you guys know, I am an avid whatnot user myself. My whatnot is Thurfro, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. Make sure you follow your boy because a lot of the things that I got at SneakerCon will be sold on whatnot. I don't think I'm gonna keep anything that I got except for maybe this Carhartt jacket. But before we actually get into the vintage, maybe I should show you guys the actual uh, sneakers that I got from SneakerCon. I got these right here. I believe these are like the Adobe SB Dunks. I kind of got these because I sold my Strange Loves. I just miss them, man. I miss having that beautiful pink colorway. I also feel like it was kind of Destiny since I have these in the collection. These are the Jades. They both have the gum midsole, which I love. I kind of love these pastel colorways with this earth tone midsole. I like these a lot better though because it's an all suede upper as opposed to this, which has suede accents and then some canvas materials throughout. Also, the swoosh is made of leather as opposed to the jade, which has a suede swoosh. Honestly, this wasn't a hard sneaker to get. I probably should have just went for it during the release, uh, but I decided not to, and then I kind of regretted not getting it. I also just realized these are wax laces, which I like. I don't know, man. I've been liking the more like clean, subtle, sneakers lately. Sneakers that I don't mind wearing. Honestly, I just rarely ever put a thousand dollar sneaker on my foot. Now I did get one other pair of sneakers, but let me go over some of the vintage before I show you guys that. I uh, got this green Carhartt blanket line corduroy collar, amazing jacket. This green colorway is one of the best. And I got a super good price on that. And this like earth tone Carhartt work jacket with the corduroy collar blanket lined of course. Now I got both those Carhartt jackets for $200, which is pretty good, especially for that green one. I mean, I've seen that green one sell between 250 and 350 all day. Getting both those for 200 is a good price. And then I picked this up right here. This is a little Patagonia fleece, USA made, nice little pattern. They had this marked at 100, but I got it for 50. I got this super sick 
Charlotte Hornets crew neck. Speaking of crew necks, I also got this like beautifully faded Carhartt crew neck. The fade on this is amazing and then you have the side gussets as well. I got this USA made Chase Authentics all over print NASCAR tee. B52's Pretenders Royal Crown review. I don't really know what this is but it's on a giant tag so I'm assuming this is like some sort of band. We got the Mr. Bean tee which is hilarious. I wish there was a way to accurately describe how soft and just lightweight this tee is. It is on an old Haynes 50-50. says Socrates and Plato discussing the meaning of life. Kind of like a cool little art parody tee. I got a bunch of like old car tees. I got the San Francisco Giants Grateful Dead tee. I also got these two Taz tees. So there's this like tie-dye Taz and then this Taz is super sick. Once again, super lightweight, perfect wear. You have the front and the back hit. Then yeah, the rest of the tees that I got were basically like Harley tees or like miscellaneous sports tees, kind of like this Mariner's joint. Ooh, and this Marlboro, that thing is fire. Now I got a bunch of other vintage that I still need to open up. These are actually all whatnot orders that I bought. I find so much cool stuff on whatnot. In fact, I might just dedicate a video to all the stuff that I've purchased on whatnot when I get back from my trip. But I do not have time to go through everything. I do want to show you another pair of sneakers and it is this pair of Air Force Ones. Now, this is a homie that is from, I believe, Marysville. He's from up north. He has hit me up before to uh, send me some gear. In fact, he didn't even ask me to show these off. He just gave them to me. He was telling me a little bit about kind of his upbringing and how everyone doubted him and how everyone just kind of like talked shit on him. And it's cool to see someone prevail and overcome that and still do well creating some really cool product. He has a bunch of cool designs. I've been meaning to add him to like a low key brand unboxing, which I will do eventually. Shout out to my guy. I do appreciate these forces. These things are so sick. Low key, I would prefer the cream ones. I think they were his personals. Those ones are nutty, but um, yeah, man. Shout out to my guy, Royal Surge. Anyways, guys, we're not done. You guys are watching this video and you guys thought that was the end. If you guys thought I was gonna come to Washington State and not go visit my favorite sneaker store in the world. You guys are out of your goddamn mind, all right? Of course, we gotta go see my family from Sneak City. This is my last day in Washington before I go back to Atlanta. Dude. Yeah. Hey, oh. What up, man? What are you doing all the way up here? What's up, man? How you living? The legends. I had to get you guys in the video. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. We'll just do like a half hug, like arm hug. Oh, we'll just dab each other up. There we go. Left hand is shake, you feel me? Ah, ah, ah. I don't think I've ever just like shook in your hand. What's up again? The legend, Jeff, man. I saw you yesterday. I don't know if you remember because you met a lot of people yesterday, but you signed my friend's jacket, the uh, like the vintage one. Exactly, of course. Yo, Moscow, what up, baby? I'm not going to get nothing today. I would like to add these to the collection eventually. I will say, a shoe that I really haven't not like touched and felt in person, these right here, I would not mind adding these to the collection. I do wish they were SBs. I feel like the normal dunks look a little bit too narrow for me, but I do like the idea of some suede dunks. I also love these, this little cotton candy quilted uh, interior. I feel like I would buy these because I like them, but then I feel like I would never wear them. These right here also, oh. Don't tell Tia. I kind of like these as well, but I don't know what I'm gonna put in the pocket. Like weed nuggets, a little bit of crack cocaine, los drogas. That was the top five hardest deals. Top five hardest deals. Worked. Man. She's a tough negotiator. You think I got a nine to two just so I don't. <laughs> nine to two. <laughs> no. I ain't got a nine to five and I definitely ain't got a nine to two. <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't even work a 9 to 12. I won't work a 9 to 10. I, I work when I work. It was nice to see you, though. Hey. You know? You know. From back in the Supreme. Absolutely. The good days. LA you know, uh, days, back when the line was amazing. Man. You know? Th things change. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Tia's not happy about it, but. <laughs> I could not end this video. I know it's kind of random. It's towards the end. I had to see you guys, of course. And I also had to let everyone know if you're in the Seattle area. They are opening up a brand new store. Address on the screen. Make sure you go to the grand opening. Big plans. Make sure you guys go follow us on Instagram at the Sneak City. We're gonna have doorbuster deals, steals, snacks. Every store opening has been pretty crazy yeah, and some crazy, crazy steals. Crazy. Yeah. If you guys are in the Seattle area, make sure you don't sleep. Alderwood Mall coming soon, March 18th, grand opening. My last time driving my baby. Right. Up, so I don't have to. Love you. Love you too. All right, bye. It's our pleasure to welcome you to Atlanta, where the local time is 1:21 p.m. Y'all have a lovely day.
That grade A service, man. My guy Harrison got the truck ready for me. What up? <laughs> Yo, okay, so I apologize for the abrupt ending. I honestly was just not in the mood to record at like 3.30 in the morning. And I was also trying to get everything accomplished, see everyone that I wanted to while I was home for the week. And I was only home for like four days. I thought about staying longer, but I didn't want it to turn into what it did last time where I stayed there for like a month. So yeah, I don't know. I have some things that I want to get done. So I flew back first thing Monday morning. In the next episode, you guys will see uh, why I flew back. My plan, hopefully, is to go down and explore Florida. Cross some more states off the checklist. Like I said, I wanna explore this region of the United States. I would like to see how the thrifting is down there and just other neighboring states around Georgia. I do have some more work I gotta get done in the warehouse. I gotta get some measurements for some of the product that I have ready to sell on Whatnot. Everyone who supports me on Whatnot and supports the YouTube, without you guys, I would not have this opportunity. In fact, without you guys, I would have never even attended a sneaker con because I would have never had them reach out to fly me to an event in the first place. So you guys are the reason I was even able to go there for this little trip so thank you i do appreciate every single person that supports me make sure if you're still watching the video if you have not already smash the like button and if you are still watching the video you're a real one so comment goes hard i do appreciate you thank you guys so much i'm excited for the next adventure i'm excited for the next trip i was originally planning on doing this last week but i couldn't say no to going to see sneaker con seattle firsthand also i think next time they have a sneaker con seattle i'm gonna do like my first ever booth Stay tuned. All right, anyways, I love you guys. I appreciate you from the top and bottom of my heart. As always, keep living the star life, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Bang, bitch, holla when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers. And listen closely.